so I'm just going to read this, the quote that you wrote. I once had sex with a guy who I asked to slap me during sex. He was very hesitant. When he did slap me, he was gentle. I told him to go harder multiple times while riding him, and he failed. So I finally slapped him and said, like this, and he came instantly. I had to take a plan B, and he never texted me again. I think I threatened his manhood. <laughs> I mean, he clearly liked it. I know. That's what I'm saying. He was like, she caught me. Like, she knows yeah, what I like. He, he didn't know how to think about it. But yeah, no, I like met this guy on Hinge and I was just horny at the time. Like I, I was working, but like, it's not enough. Like if I have a few days off, I need, I need dick every day. Mm. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I went to his house and then we were having sex and like, I like to get slapped a lot. Like I'm really into BDSM and he was very off about it. And like, he, he did it the first time. It was like a tap. And I was like, I was like, are you kidding me? And so I was like, no, harder. And I even like grabbed his hand and like tried to show him. But like, I guess I just got mad and like I wanted to come really bad. So I just like smacked the so You shit need out of to him. be smacked in order to come. Pain helps. But like, honestly, for, <laughs> <laughs> for me, I can like mentally come with like nothing. Like, like you could be dog shit at fucking me and I can still come. Wow. I've never like had sex and not came. Really? And That's did, quite the did skill. Did you learn this? Wait, you, you knew this about yourself even before you entered the industry? Yeah, it wasn't until I got into the industry that I realized that, like, not all women, like, come and that, like, no one, like, has full-on seizures while they come or, like, comes, like, 20 times to 30 times per seat. <laughs> so I'm just, like, a cum machine. Like, <laughs> you have a superpower. <laughs> Literally. It's like, oh, I feel bad for the other women because I'm like, you. it's so much fun. Yeah. I can't imagine, like, a man laying on top of me and, like, not being satisfied. Like, <laughs> But my thing is, like, when you're seeing chicks for the first time or fucking a girl for the first time and she says she wants you to slap her you should be very very careful because you have no idea like what level That's she true. wants you to take it That's to true. you know and i've definitely been like back in the day drunk as fuck bring a girl home you keep fucking and like you're just doing like more and more like weirder or like more aggressive shit and they're like super into it and then all of a sudden you just like push it a little too far and they're just weirded out and yeah. you're just like oh my god like i was just getting way too comfortable and like <laughs> You know, it, it, it's, it's kind of sus. As and you yeah, have to know how to slap because yeah. I feel like you don't you don't want to knock someone out. I guess that's what saves me as a woman. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the aggressor. And so it's like, they're, you know. They but you like me. slapping the dude, too? That's part no, of you? No, I didn't want to slap him, but I wanted him to slap me properly. I mean, I like choking guys. Like, when I'm on top, I get very dominant. But, like, if I'm on bottom, like, I'm submissive. It's, if, I'm very if, switched. If a girl wants me to slap her, it's all good. I'll do whatever. But if she wants to slap me, hell the fuck no. Get out of here. <laughs> It's not happening. Might but rile it, you up a little bit. It's kind of weird being in a long term relationship, though, because she has like a mode that she will get in where she wants me to like spit in her face and smack mm, her and all this yes. shit. And then she has like another mode where she just wants to be gentle. And it's like, oh, yeah. you got to feel it out. I have those too. Yeah, just you got to figure out where you have to yeah. be. Yeah. I've learned to like not let all men slap me because not all of them know how to do it. So now there's just like a very select yeah. few. That's that like people who don't know how to pull hair and they're just like be tugging it at the ends and shit. You're like, Have you ever uh, been slapped too hard? Yeah, no, definitely. Like a few times in scenes when I've asked male talents to slap me, that's when I learned like don't ask everyone to slap you because not everyone knows how to do it and I definitely got my shit rocked. <laughs> right. <laughs> and like... You're fucking an MMA fighter. <laughs> Boom! It was just like I know in this scene like because it was POV too and like what, I'm just like I know in the scene there was probably like a little flare in my eyes of like motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I kept cool and kept going. <laughs> right. I asked for it. <laughs> no, nah, okay. So this is... I, I gotta read this too. I've had a number of crazy moments on set like my gangbang where i had food poisoning and two of the male talent got into a fight while i was in doggy and yeah I, I, went to set with food poisoning <laughs> yeah so i like i wanted to do a gangbang and no one wanted to book me for a gangbang so i wrote out this whole scene and this was before i like started thinking about doing them for myself first and so i was kind of just pitching it to companies and this one company took it and they were going to do it for me and i was like great like they're going to put on it it was like a birthday gangbang i wanted to do it for my 21st and have my first shot be like a shot of cum whatever <laughs> it was like it was a cool idea at the time although when i took it i was like Hleh. um <laughs> yeah so we're like <clears throat> we're getting in the position and like when we first started the scene we're doing like the blow job in a circle and i'm on my knees and one of the guys had smoked a cigarette the same guy who starts the fight later had smoked a cigarette and the moment i sniffed it like i just i didn't even touch any of their dicks like i immediately ran to the bathroom and threw up wait you smelled the cigarette on his dick on his fingers he was holding his dick 
And like, that's just gross to you? And I was just, no, it just, I had food poisoning. So the oh, smell just yeah. immediately like triggered my it, stomach. Yeah. So you and, knew you had food poisoning and chose to do the gangbang anyway? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm a hardcore bitch. No, I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was, I'm not, food I'm poisoning not, is no joke. I'm not showing, I'm not not showing up. Like they put so much into that day. I was like, this is such a big kill fee. So much money. Like, do you I, know what you eat that, ga- what you ate that gave you the food poisoning? It was so long ago now, I can't remember. I remember every food poisoning I ever had. <laughs> I've yeah. had food poisoning so many times, I choose not to it, remember it's them. It's so intense throwing it up <laughs> that it's like, it you, takes me a while to be able to eat that food again. For sure, yeah. Oh it, it creates a special memory in your brain. Yeah, big time. Uh, um, which is weird, because I can't remember like anything from my life, but I have like three vivid memories of what I ate and then throwing it up because I had food poisoning. Anyway, why did the guys get in a fight? <gasps> yeah, so it starts like after I like ran out of the room for the blowjob, the one guy with the cigarette dick decided to say like, oh, that fast? Like, bitch, I didn't even touch your dick. Like, I was not choking on you. So this is like, we're already weird vibes here. And then we're starting the sex and he can't keep his dick hard, which is fine. Like, there's five five guys. I've got plenty of dicks in my face. But he starts like huffing and puffing because he hasn't gotten a chance to fuck me. So he literally like throws a little fit about like, I want to fuck her. I want to fuck her so they like set it up for him they put me in doggy and like he leaves the room to go get his dick hard and then runs in when it's hard and like wants them to start right then and there and then backstory two of the male talents were in the same agency didn't like each other had like known that they didn't like each other had the call sheet for a month and still showed up and stood next to each other in the circle like so when he runs back in think about his... how weird that must be yeah Holy literally shit. like he runs back in with his dick hard and i guess the other guy like i don't know stepped on his foot breathed in his direction like I, whatever it was <laughs> i think honestly his dick just went soft and he got pissed about it and then didn't want to be there anymore so he needed an excuse so then he starts yelling at the dude next to him i'm fucking butt naked and doggy i like look back and i'm like yeah he's gonna fuck me i was just like i'm about to end this shit so i'm gonna walk out like i just i just left i was like it's your set you deal with it but he left then halfway through my gangbang there was four guys so wow he got sent out the so other guy they never got into like school. a real fight though they never like, i don't know they just started screaming at each other and like bowing up i left the room no one had a black eye but that, it would have been sick if like they went outside fought and then came back in and did the gangbang and one of them had like a black eye See and like that? the eagle <laughs> eye fans noticed and figured out who lost the fight that would have been sick <laughs> that would have made me come real hard <laughs> I can't, so you guys actually finished this scene yeah yeah and did you take the nuts to the face with all the food poisoning issues you were having oh did you girl, swallow it it was bad like so oh. i I wanted to do cupcakes, so we had cupcakes, and there was a shot glass in the middle, and they were all in a circle, and they jerked off and sang me happy birthday while they came, which was pretty dope, but they came at different times, so each load, like, iced my cupcakes and hit the shot glass at a different time, and by the time, like, I was taking the shot, which I had to, like, lick out of the cup, and then I also ate the cupcakes, mind you not, with cum all over them. It was, like, coagulated and cold oh God, and, like... I'm going to be sick myself. Yeah. No, I wanted to die. No, but we I love did cum. It. We love I cum. Did. Don't forget, we love cum. cum. <laughs> sitting around while she has food poisoning. <laughs> yeah. Like, and pour you on your birthday. <laughs> it was a week before my birthday, I think, so it could come out okay. on my birthday, but, like, no. Did this put you off to doing gangbangs, or are you still, like... Oh, a- no, I'm still, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it just my you know, my agent took me out. <laughs> anything when I have food poisoning. I refuse. It's funny, because I remember uh, Gina Valentina telling me that she did a blow bang and got sick afterwards and ended up, like, being sick to her stomach from eating all the different cum. You actually Ugh. came in sick. Mm. And then ate a ton of cum. Yeah. Which is kind of unique. And like, I'm borderline diabetic, so the cupcakes were probably not the best idea. <laughs> you know, I was so like sick after. <laughs> you know, we learned our lesson because we did a scene with Skybury, classic actually, and uh, we were fucking with cake. And then it turns out that cake, especially cake that has like big chunky fucking uh, sprinkles, sprinkles on it and shit, not a great lubricant. In fact, Putting your dick in a girl with frosting all over your cock is very, very, that, very much not that ideal. That sounds more like a yeast infection yeah. waiting to happen. I didn't get one, but my knees were so sore from landing in the sprinkles. Like, oh, <laughs> it oh, fucking hurt. It's it like was asphalt. Not, yeah, uh, that's what it felt like. And I just remember, like, wa- like, uh, like thinking, like, we needed like a, a fake cake where, like, the the cake itself was like super fluffy and like would fall apart, and then like the 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 frosting was more like you know whipped cream type shit you know that would have probably made it a little better sex that should just not mix i think but But have you always wanted to get fucked with frosting no no i've avoided doing the whole like twerk in the birthday cake type i I love that i would love to see you do that that's what i was doing oh yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you send me that scene i want to watch it (laughs) sure you have to subscribe to my OnlyFans. yeah okay (laughs) i'll dm it to you 